Okay, here we are. Welcome, everyone. This is another map that features Age of Empires 2 nukes, only this time around, there is a special surprise for the players. And this version, there is radiation after each explosion. And the explosions go off when kings die. So there's a lot of surprises. There's been a few episodes of Nuke Town. There's now been a few episodes of, uh, or with kings exploding, I guess. And so I, I don't know what the title of this is going to be, but again, if a king dies, it explodes, it destroys everything, and then after that there will be radiation. I've never experienced the radiation, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that will be like. Uh, and I'm talking about video game radiation. If you have any nuclear bombs in, in real life, I would not like to experience radiation from that. Uh, in the gray, we have Epi. He's playing as a Celts. He's been a longtime supporter of my channel. I think he's over two years. Uh, sorry, he's been subbed for over two years. He's in the worst spot for Texas. Uh, it is definitely the worst spot. There's not a lot of wood close by him. He would need to go forward for a lot of gold and stone and wood, and that's where others might get in the way. But anyway, Celts is a solid sieve for him. In the green, we have You Already Know. He's playing as the Chinese. In the blue, we have Wither. He's playing as the Incas. In the red, we have Pol Potty playing as the Byzantines. In the teal, we have Dawa. He's playing as the Saracens. In the yellow, we have Revenge AoE. He's playing as the Mongols. In the purple, we have Laser Ed. He's playing as Magyars. And then to the north of him in the orange, we have uh, Overconfidence, who's playing as the Teutons. Uh, something to point out if you've seen the Exploding Kings episode. The blast radius on these kings is less. It's, it's only 29 tiles. I feel bad for Lorena. She's just trying to love you, man. <laughs> Legless Alex, thank you. But if you only knew how aggressive Lorena was, I think you would know that it's much more than love, and I think the police need to get involved. Thank you, Legless Alex, very much. He was texting me the other day, saying how he th he he wanted to know the identity of Lorena. <laughs> like, man, she has too much power. I, I can't give you that information. Thank you, Legless Alex, very, very, very much. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the Blast Radius of the King, only 29 tiles as opposed to the 44 it was before. And then there's radiation. But a map like Texas, everything's very condensed. So it's good that the tiles have uh, been cut down a bit. Otherwise, there'd be nothing left in the map. What is the mining camp? Listen, we don't judge here, Matt Gisalsa. All right? No one judges in this community. We don't judge farms. We don't judge mining camps. We definitely do not judge uh, Lorena, apparently. So it's fine. I mean, ideally... There would be a gap to collect these two stone piles, ideally, but he's going to make it work. I have belief. Oh, the previous one was 33? Oh, gotcha. Okay, I thought it was 44. Well, I don't really know anything. I, I'm really good at acting like I know what I'm talking about. That That's probably the best way you could describe my content. I act as if I know what I'm talking about, and the longer you hear, the more you realize I'm kind of dumb. So, it's fine. It's fine. Very fast start because players start with a lot of villagers. Uh, players start with a castle. I would go fishing in Texas. Uh, <laughs> the water surrounding all of Texas might be a little bit unrealistic, but at least in the Age of Empires map, you should go fishing for food income. And then the more food income you have, the faster you can go to the next age, the faster you can get to attacking and sniping kings. You just have to be careful where those kings are when you kill them. <laughs> we only judge T90 farms. Yep, apparently, chat, apparently. Did you see what Revenge said? Wait, what is this whole conversation? Um, The game started, Revenge said, T90, where in Texas am I? Because he knows I'm not going to know, and he knows that you guys are going to make fun of me. And then Dawa says, are you sure he even knows? Geography, remember? And Revenge said, no, that's why I ask. Well, screw you guys. Screw both of you. I hope your kings explode against each other. That, that's what I hope. I mean, it's a possibility. They are close together. I hope Revenge gets sniped and then his king explodes and kills Teal. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure the last... I think the first time we casted Texas, actually, we had this conversation... I don't know. I think the capital of Texas is Austin, right? 
I think it's Austin is the capital, but I don't know where that is. And I believe I mentioned that there's a flag somewhere on this. Um, flag this. I think I mentioned that this was the capital. Like this was Austin, Texas. Someone in the YouTube comments said that that's not the case. And this is where the guy from Ensemble Studios was from. Because I think that's the Ensemble Studios flag. I don't know. But no offense to those in Texas. I know there's a lot of you out there. I really don't care if I don't know what your state is like. I hear it's quite nice, actually. I have family who used to live in Houston. I have a friend who was just in Austin visiting. It, it seems quite nice. I just don't need to know where things are. <laughs> the more folks I put into learning geography, the, the less I see King Snipe. So that's going to be an issue. This, is this Dallas? Okay, gotcha. All right, cool. Well, we learned some things. We learned that Revenge is a, a jerk face. He's on his way to the Castle Age. In, in all honesty, he's one of the better players in this game. So he'll be one player to look out for. He's also playing as the Mongols and is wasting no time going to stone. It's a bit peculiar to be going to stone this early. Uh, because you don't need to build a castle. You have a castle already. Maybe I should be overly critical of every strategy choice he goes for. But that doesn't sound like me. Yes, there is cartography, which means the players they're allied with uh, will not be able to hide anything, right? So in the previous version, you wouldn't know where your allies were. You wouldn't know what they were doing. But now after building a market, you can see what they're up to. Lots of scouting right now. Uh, Pole Potty is not accepting the alliance. Whoa! Dude, he wants to build three stables. Holy crap. He's going crazy. He's not messing around here. He has not allied anyone. So maybe he's newer to the community game scene. So maybe he doesn't realize that he can ally people. In fact, how many games does he have? Okay, so he's he's played a decent amount of games in the new player lobby. But I think this is his first community game. And Revenge has just changed him to enemy because he had, did not accept the alliance. I... Feel like this guy is just isn't aware. <laughs> no heavy demo, by the way. It's part of the radiation. Petards are back, though. Wait, so can you explain that to people who are much wiser than I am, Gundrick? The the heavy demo thing. Why remove heavy demo? Are demos exploding as part of the radiation? Is that what you're saying? So you had to remove the tech? Is there because the radiation will have to be visible somehow, right? I mean, I guess we'll see. I'm really curious to see what it's like. Okay, and now, see, see, everyone's turning on Pole Potty because Pole Potty has not accepted their alliance. This is gonna be a problem for this guy. I needed some exploding to do it, so I took it out of the heavy demo. Okay, that makes sense. So there will be some explosions, that way people can see it. At least they can see it. That is unlike real radiation, right? I, I think... I think so. And Green says Red not looking too friendly. No, I feel so bad for him! I think he's just... I think he's... A lower rated player. I, I think he, his score is really high because he hasn't clicked up to Castle Age. I don't think he's looking to be mean. I, I just... I think he's newer to the whole Diplo scene. They will see a water buffalo? Wait, a water buffalo? Okay. Just Age of Empires things. Stay away from the water buffalo. It will kill you with radiation. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's good it's visible because in the Battle Royale maps, the wave, as I called it, or the storm, were not visible. Hmm. And every time I hear water buffalo, I think of the VeggieTales song. The Water Buffalo Veggie Tales song. Are there any other sheltered children out there that that listen to that? Dude, I loved Veggie Tales. I, you know what? I'm man enough to admit there are some Veggie Tales songs that are still really good. Yeah, they're still really good. Everybody needs a Water Buffalo. Yours is fat and mine is slow. I forget what it is. <laughs> I sing that song all the time. Okay, it's good to know I'm not alone. All right. If you've never listened to Veggie Tales, I suggest you go to YouTube and listen to the Cheeseburger song. 
The cheeseburger song is so catchy and so good. Lots of stone walls. Players are playing this very safe. They realize their reputations are on the line. A lot of players in these games are college students, so w within a few years they're going to be applying for jobs. And I feel like the best thing to put in the resume is that they won a T90 official community game. So they need to play it safe. It will change their future. It will change their lives if they win this game. Uh, Pole Potty... Has he allied anyone? Okay, he's allied everyone now. And Green, he, he doesn't believe him. He, he said him to neutral. That's funny. <laughs> Actually, my bad. It's all the demo line what's gone. The heavy demo only is gone, and the new non-radiation versions give the tarts back to people. Okay, so they can't make demos. Good to know. I love songs with Mr. Lunt. Is that a is that a VeggieTales thing? I didn't know there was a love songs thing. I know uh, silly songs with Larry. Oh, the newer stuff. I don't watch the newer stuff. I'm not that weird. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. Okay. I remember. Now it's time for silly songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. And then it, it gives you some background to why Larry is singing the song. Okay, how many people in the chat have heard of VeggieTales? Can you just type a 1 if you've heard of it, and a 2 if you haven't? I'm curious. Oh, is Cheeseburger... Oh, Mr. Lunt? Isn't Mr. Lunt the guy who sings the Cheeseburger song? Oh, okay. So we're about 50-50, gotcha. That's, a still, that's still a pretty solid number. Yeah, hairbrush. Oh man, I'm gonna be singing Veggie Tales today. At least you guys yes. have been warned. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just thinking back to all Veggie Tales episodes. I need to go. I need to go back and give commentary on a Veggie Tales episode. Oh my god, y you can tell the game has been really slow when I'm talking about cartoon vegetables. That's how slow this game is. But but trust me, it's gonna heat up quite literally. Because there will be nukes and there will be radiation. Sefer, Seferin, I'm in Florida and it is cooler here than it is in most of the country right now. All my European audience is complaining about the heat. And it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit here. Because it rains about it rains every evening for about a half hour. And it really cools things off. So I feel bad for you guys. But, you know, I've had my hot days here as well. <laughs> okay, Strek, calm down. I get it. Just just calm down, buddy. <laughs> Strek is like, finally, finally, after years of searching, I posted on all the forums. I just wanted someone who who still listened to VeggieTales as an adult. Revenge will be an imp soon. Uh, EP will be an imp soon. They're on opposite sides of the map. I think EP would need to be aggressive because this position is not good. I, I feel as though if the radiation lasts the whole game, large sections of the map will just be blocked off by it. You might be forced to send units through the radiation to get anywhere. <laughs> Chosen all says, T90, how was the move? Well, uh, I've been here for... I guess officially six days. Uh, I still don't have all my furniture. In fact, today during the stream at some point, I might have furniture arrive and I might need to leave the stream for 15 minutes because they have I, I'm paying for them to build whatever it is. Uh, and I, I mean, I guess I could stream while they do that, but it'd be weird. Anyway, so I don't have everything yet. Um, I think by mid next week, I'll be a little bit more settled. But everything's been good. I really like the area, really like the place. It's just been hard to get back into a routine because I'll be busy in the next three days as well. So getting into a routine is going to take me a bit of time. My brother-in-law lives near you. He's been there for about 10 years and says it rains about 4 p.m. almost every day. Enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, it rains, but it doesn't rain all the time. It just rains a little bit, then stops. That cools everything down. 
And as far as I know, it does that more so in the summer when it's it's supposed to be the hottest here. So it's actually quite nice. But all my opinions of this area are it's very much recency bias. I, right now I'm like, oh yeah, everything's great. But in a year I might be like, oh I hate this, you know. So it's fine. It's easy to put a positive spin on everything when you just move somewhere. Am I going to give a house tour? Uh, no, I'm not. A lot of people request that. I don't know. I'm not that type of YouTuber or Twitch streamer. Not that I don't trust you guys or, or want to like let you guys into my life a little bit, but I just don't. Every house tour and streaming room tour and all those things that streamers do, it I don't know. It just comes off very conceited and very not me. Yes. I, I I don't know. There's something about it. It just it just wouldn't be comfortable for me. So probably not. But you guys will get to see a, a nice look at my streaming room when I do my 24 hour stream. A lot of military being made by Wither. And Castle Age, too. Crossbows, Kamiooks. Not sure what is prompting this. Most of the other players are using their resources to go up to the next age. Laser Ed will be there, Pole Potty, and you already know will be there soon. Yeah, Fawful, so I know a few people who live in this area, and um, one person in particular has been here since, I think, the beginning of the year, and they've yet to even see a single alligator, so yeah. I mean, there's, there's pros and cons, but... The worst thing about Florida so far for me has been these ducks. They're called Muscovy ducks. They have these weird growths on their beaks, and uh, <laughs> I had to run away from one like a small child would <laughs> the other day. Uh, what was that? It was on Monday. I went for a walk past this bush, and behind a bush was this Muscovy duck, and it started flapping his wings and, and like, running towards me. So, naturally, I ran. <laughs> and I'm a pretty big dude, too. I'm six foot two, and it probably looks comical for other people, but this thing looked like it wanted to hurt me. Dude, ducks, Google it. M-U-S-C-O-V-Y. These are evil ducks. If you were that ugly, you would attack things too, I'm sure. We all would. It looks like someone stepped on their, their face. And then, uh, you know what? I can't even describe it. There's so little space to expand on this Texas map. Also, hello, ducks. Yes, and after seeing those things, I am even more proud of my pick. You know how they say, would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Yeah, one horse-sized duck would be ridiculous. No thank you. Okay, I heard something die. What died? Who died? What What happened? T90 blind, but not T90 deaf. What happened? The only difference between Florida and an oven is that an oven doesn't produce serial killers. Also, I am not that ugly, but I passed my doctoral exam yesterday. I am Dr. Ducks now. D <laughs> Ducks! Come on, man. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for 26 months of support, and congratulations. Yes, uh, chat. Ducks passed his doctoral exam yesterday. He's been busy becoming, a, becoming Dr. Ducks, which sounds very good. Congratulations, man. I know it's been a lot of work for you and a lot of stress. Hmm. Pole Potty is researching hoardings. Uh, funny enough, he's sure hoarding a lot of resources here. 3,000 gold, 200 wood. Okay, this is risky. Someone named Lorena donated $1.69 to me and said... Tuck your tongue in my ear to... No, I'm not reading that. Lorena, go away. So someone's got to start it off here, right? Someone's got to start it off here. Revenge is making Navy. He's researching War Galley anyway. Ooh, overconfidence is trading on water. Ooh, trade cogs. All right. It's actually better to trade with trade cogs than trade carts here because it's so cramped. 
Hmm, Laser Ed has a lot of Cav Archers. Magyar Cav Archers are very strong. Blue has Arbalest and Kameox and a Scorpion. Two Scorpions, weird army composition here, but it, it can be strong. Green has two canoes and lots of castles for more two canoes. Gray. Um, not sure what EP's up to yet, to be honest. He's lacking space. I'm not sure why he scores so high. Maybe because of the fish. Yeah, he's 39 fishing ships. That would explain it. He has not built a single farm in this game. All fish. Dawa is making Mamelukes. Mamelukes and crossbows. It's a strong comp. I like it. Uh, I, I imagine Revenge is going to go super try-hard, as he normally does. He's a very strong player, and, and probably go all in Mangadai and Siege. Overconfidence has... Oh, wow, four castles in the same spot. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a great move to protect your king. Players are very quiet. They're, they're not talking to each other. They're not plotting anything. But normally what happens is, after the first king dies, everything else gets crazy. T90 official, when Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition comes out, will the community games be on DE or will they still be played on Boobly? If Definitive Edition 2 is good, it'll be on Definitive Edition 2. If DE2 is bad, I will not be using it for that. So, uh, I used to use HD because that's what a lot of people are using until I couldn't stand it any longer because it was such a mess. So I came to Boobly. And so I imagine a similar thing would happen if DE2 isn't good. So, fingers crossed. It depends, as Ozzy said. If Definitive Edition 2 is great, then I will be there. And that goes for other things as well, and, and experts as well. If it doesn't have what Vubly has, if it doesn't have what's important to players, and in my case, like a caster, I think that people will probably play DE2, but when it comes time for content creation, I don't think content creators are going to be uh, using it. Now, can I tell you... I can't see I know some things <laughs> and I can only tell you I know some things uh, but I just say I'm positive that it yes. will be good wait not positive sorry I, I am a, like I'm in a positive mental state regarding AOE 2 DE not saying I'm positive it'll be good because that's a bold claim I know it'll be better I know it'll be better than HD but it's I could probably spend an hour creating a game and be better than HD, so. Okay, that's a bit unfair, but. Anyways, well, let's let's move along, okay. I know that Microsoft plays my stream in their studio because I've had them tell me that. <laughs> and I'm pretty certain that they're listening right now, so hey, what's up? <laughs> Not breaking an NDA here. Just just talking about other things. We're when we say DE, we're talking about um uh, definitive exploration because blue needs to explore more. I don't know. I have the name overconfidence because I lack confidence is overconfidence. Oh well that's ironic. Yeah, we're talking about the ducks edition. Exactly. You already know says my name is you you already know because nobody already knows. Okay. I think everyone's lacking confidence. Teal who's top score, 180 pops says wait, how am I top score 11? Cuz you're a beast, man. Are you feeling the stare of Microsoft lawyers at the back of your head? I mean, I've already received about 7 phone calls today and I'm, I've just ignored them. I'm going to hope it wasn't them. I might need to switch my phone number. <laughs> They're all Lorena. <laughs> oh god, she found my new number? How did she do that? Jeez. By the way, I'll have you know that... There's one guy who does most of the Lorena trolling, right? There's, there's one person. I, I won't out the person. 
is probably a person that most of you don't even know. Whoever started this only donates under the name Lorena. However, since then, there have been 10 different people who have joined in donating under the name Lorena. So, it's it's Italian become a big channel a meme at this point. Restaurant, and the waiter says, sorry, we don't serve fish. A salmon walks into a vegetarian restaurant, and the waiter says, sorry, we don't serve fish. Ha! <laughs> Ducks. I can only laugh so much, and um, <laughs> I've, I've used up my laughter today, so <laughs> I don't know. You know what it is? The Texas speech woman definitely doesn't make it seem funny. That's what it is. I blame, I blame um, Ivy, or whatever the Texas speech lady's name is. <laughs> the call came from inside the house. What is that? When a stranger calls? Yes. Oh, what are they talking about here? Trade Dawa. Yo, I know the tech I know the people in Texas are supposedly really nice, but can we have some people blow up, please? Can we have some war? 45 minutes in. They're all playing extremely safe. It's alright, I believe. Laser Ed says interesting army. Revenge says Teal, we friends. It's only you, I think, blue and pink are friends. Okay, so he's asking to, to team up with Teal because he thinks the others on this side are buddy-buddy. Green says no red because red has three gold miners taking his gold. And he's getting real pissed off about it too. How about you turn on him? <laughs> he just, did he lock the gate? Oh, there we go. How about you turn on him? And kill him for taking your gold. Well, the villager... I, I don't even know if this is intentional for Red. His villas are walking around. Gundrick says the nuke kills relics. It does not kill golden stone. Okay, good to know. Good to know it doesn't destroy those resources. Lorena420 donated $1.69. Man, Lorena got really cheap over the last two weeks <laughs> as says let's spam units together oh you know it baby you can spam units i'll i'll research uh shoot what's it called perfusion for you yes oh look lorena also donated another dollar and 69 cents and said called you seven times today darling stop ignoring me let's us create units in the hundreds did you mean to say hundreds lorena go back to school Jeez. Hundreds. Siege Onager for EP. He has hundreds of villagers. <laughs> no, he doesn't actually. He, he does very few villagers. But it's because he hasn't had a lot of space to expand to. This is good he has some wood to chop though. Sergeant Bruno, thank you for the Prime sub, man. Thank you again to Leeds for the two months. Oh, I missed Atomic Sausage gifted a sub to Thomas Frank. How dare I, I miss Atomic Sausage during a game such as this where there will be explosions. LOL Red WTF. Green and Red are not... They're not communicating well, all right? I think they need to go to marriage counseling. Revenge says, want to go? He is only trash. Oh, who are they talking about? Oh, they're talking about Red. Oh, no! Pole Potty! Oh, boy, he dead. Okay, so he if he dies, his king is right here, by the way. If he dies, there will be an explosion and then radiation. This is what we've been waiting for. So, whatever you fancy, whether it's the Pog Champs or the T90 OMGs, let's go, hypes, whatever... Let's get a little little bit of spam going, chat, to hype this up. Uh, I don't think red is going to be saved by green. And, oh, green is even attacking him now. Whoa, the cannonball just bounced! Did you see that? That is very rare occurrence. That cannonball bounced right into the horse's face. Nice. Yeah, red doesn't have a chance. Red doesn't have a chance. He, he didn't ally people at the start. Wasn't communicating. Run, red, run. 
Uh, the king is sitting right there. Against Mamluks, Mangadai, and Arbs, there's... No, it's just not possible. So, it's unfortunate if this is the first community game ever for him. Uh, he does have a lot of skirms and a lot of helps. All of which Mangadai and Ram sh should kill. Okay, the king's there, and yellow should shoot it. He shoots it. Red is dead. Okay, so this is very important. This goat is at 8 food. When it gets to zero, there will be an explosion. That explosion will kill everything in a, I believe, a 33 tile radius? Or is it 29? I think 33 is what it was before. So 29 tile radius. Which means that red will no longer have a base. Green will likely lose some castles. Oh, God! Green is so lucky. Green is so lucky. His king is inside of this castle. And Teal says, well, there goes all of my Arbalest. Yeah, his Arbalest went down. Yellow ran away with his Manga Die. That's great. Uh, but now there's radiation in here. So, apparently, you can't go into this area without taking some damage. Gundrick says, you can see the radiation now. Really? Oh! Oh, it's a water... <laughs> it's a water buff. Wait, so this is the waves of radiation? This is how we had to do it, huh? Get a water buffalo and a demo raft. Okay, one, food, zero, demo raft. Boom. Okay. So I wonder, like, how much damage does the radiation do, is, is my question. Hmm. Ah! <gasps> I was too focused on the radiation! Blue's dead! Wait, Blue's dead? Now I have to find his goat. I'm sorry, I was so focused on checking the HP on the buildings. There will be more radiation in Texas. Stop it with the T90 blind. It was intentional, so my chat would use my emotes. It just justifies more subscriptions to the stream. I, I don't know where the goat is, though. I, I'm- OH GOD! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god, those cav archers. All right, well, uh, now we have to look for this water buffalo. Okay, there's this water buffalo. So there's radiation over here as well. Here we go. Gray is moving units into here. There's a little bit of damage being done. You see how the villagers are losing HP? Now, we didn't tell the players about the radiation thing. Oh, yeah. We didn't tell them about the, the radiation thing. We only told them about the exploding kings. So this is new to them. They probably won't realize or be looking for this. Uh, question to Gundrick. Uh, shoot, what was my question? Oh yeah, does the radiation get worse? Does it get stronger or does it stay like that? And blue's dead, red's dead. And more people will die in this game. Is it a legit tactic to heal your own king and enemy base? I'm hoping more players do that. We did have someone attempt that an hour ago in the previous game. So now you can't trade through here. <laughs> I mean, you can, but it's... You'll be trading toxic goods. It stays like that. Okay, so you can still run units through. It's probably a good thing. Otherwise, people couldn't move. Now, I wonder if this is damaging the castle from yellow a bit. Probably not enough to, to uh, make him repair it all game. Yeah, so if you have a weak population... And you feel as though you have no chance to win. Just use your king as a suicide bomber. Overconfidence. Has these beautiful castles here. He has 12,000 gold? Oh my goodness. Trade cogs on this side. Alright. Now, from what I remember with Texas... It's a map where you run out of wood. Uh, green's running out of wood, for example. I, I think this position for orange is decent for wood. There's more here. Teal also has a big chunk of wood. I think there was a game with Blue Coffee on Texas where he controlled all the wood. Though I could be wrong. And the, the nukes, or the exploding kings, they destroy trees. They do not destroy the stone and the gold, though. Hmm. 
Well, I'm not sure what to think of it so far. <laughs> but the water buffalo thing cracks me up. I can't focus on that too much, though, because if I do, then someone else is going to die and I'll miss it. Berserk Moose, thank you for the 10-month resub. Gear, great to see you back. He said, hi, six months already feels like yesterday. Gear, it feels like it's been longer to me, to be honest. But I don't know exactly how long you've been around the community in general. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, Zydane, for the three-month resub. Tavori for the five months. He said, hey, 1890, are you a Florida man now? Yes, I am. Do I sound crazier? You know what? Don't answer that, all right? Don't answer that. I'll just have to avoid chat. But yes, I do live in Florida now. Okay, so the trade carts are losing a little bit of HP. I think you can still get some use out of them. Ah, and the trade cogs down here, good point. Yeah, the trade cogs are also being affected down here. Ah. Oh, blue has three arbalists protecting the stone, that's brilliant. That's amazing. Blue's revenge. One could say that Blue withered away. Get it? His name is Wither. It doesn't really fit because he didn't wither away. He just exploded, but... <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a shame for Green because yes. Green really wanted an ally. But I think Green can still win it with her or without her. <laughs> I'm done. I'm sorry. See, I'm disappointed Blue is out. There's so many p puns I can make with this name. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. We'll have to wait till he plays in community games next time. How's your relation with the rest? Anyone we don't like? Wow. Okay. So, Yellow is, is having some conversations with his allies. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> These villagers want to chop wood and they can't get in there. <laughs> so they walk the whole way around. Arn signaled that too. He's like, what are you doing? If he realizes this, he can build the lumber camp here, but if he doesn't realize they're trapped. Hmm. Players are trading a lot. Some of the trade is dying. Uh, waiting for the next big move. I, I think teal and yellow are easily the strongest pairing right now. Uh, both in composition and skill level and in score. So I think whatever they whatever they end up doing is going to change things. <laughs> you already know says the silence terrifies me. Yeah, man. T90 official chat is still waiting for you to make just one good pun, so I think it's T90 fine, he is gone. Well, Macho, you would know all about you would know all about uh failing puns, so I'll take your judgment on that. <laughs> I'm getting into a kind of a troll mood, just a heads up. So I guess it's kind of good because we gotta kill some time here. Thank you, FFH. Welcome yes. into the community with the new sub. Yes. I just realized what the special surprise is, says Revenge. <laughs> and overconfidence is like, what? What is it? Well, Teal's making a move in here to clear out Red's buildings. Revenge realizes there's radiation. Might want to avoid the area where the king died. Green says, how bad? It's not that bad. Send a unit in there to test. I guess Green doesn't realize that Gray's trade has been hit by it. Laser Ed realizes he says slow and painful. Okay. Yeah, I'm disappointed in Laser Ed. He should not be allowing Green to take all these golds and stones. He should be taking some for himself. Need a T90 sassy emote? What would that even be, man? <laughs> Every time I switch to Purple's point of view, 
Blue's Arbalester attacking the slumber camp, and I hear the attack sound. And I always look there. I always look there. Because that's what I should do as a caster if I see someone's being attacked. And it, it's rather annoying, actually. A laser Ed says, I'm going to need help with yellow and orange. And green says, I can help. Perfect. No, I, I agree. I think the radiation should not be too strong, Gundrick. It's just... Uh, the, the way the players are playing this is making it very slow. That's all. Well, what is this? Overconfidence has a siege tower with Teutonic Knights in it. What is this? If he snipes someone with this, I will gift 50 subs to the stream. Actually, make that 100 subs to the stream. There's no way. Surely there's no way. Just passing. Watch Teal have his king out in the open. I should have checked this. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh my god. Arch Palisade walled in the castle that has the king in it. No, 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 no. Don't go to this one. I want him to do it now. Don't go to this castle. Is he sending in a bunch of them? What's the strat here, bud? He He's hiding the siege tower, but behind Teal's castle. That, that's actually really intelligent, because I can barely see that. <laughs> that's amazing. No! Revenge! Well, yes, revenge. Save my bank account. He says, Orange is trying to snipe you. <gasps> now remember the rules were why do I say things the rules yes. were that he'd have to snipe with the Teutonic Knights alright is he also going to hide these trebs behind the castle that's so smart that is so smart is he just going to leave him there now move this one over now move it move it move it move it move it Uh, wow. Okay. <gasps> hey, uh. hey, Go in the gate. <gasps> he locked the palisade gate. Is ejecting... Oh, he doesn't have room to eject his units. Okay, eject the units now, send them in, I guess. <laughs> now unlock the gate, or lock the gate. Teal doesn't realize this. He's trying to attack ground with Trevs, you can't do that. You have to actually turn on Teal if you want to snipe this. You, you have to turn on Zeal. Starting to think this was a bad idea seeing your army gray. Teal is so focused on gray. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a lot of siege. Now it's going into the radiation. Oh no. Orange is being attacked by, by purple. So he, he'll defend with skirms. But go after. Oh here he goes. No way! This should never work in a million years! T90, you're missing the onager shots. Dude, there's three different things I have to focus on at once. No! The king ran into the castle! Oh no! That's dumb, man! What a glitch! It glitched over the palisade walls! Just Age of Empires things. So, uh, again, to the people at the Microsoft Studios listening to this right now, thank you for... Thank you for not fixing that, because you just saved me a bunch of money. Woo! Saved. All right. Well, Gray's making a move in against Teal. Oh! Those skirmishers go down. Uh, Orange is defending. Um, his king is still alive. 
Uh, green could help uh, purple though, and it could make matters worse. I think that teal's probably gonna die to this, to be honest. Sorry the overlay's a bit buggy, by the way, but he's, he's only making skirms against EP's 20 or 25 onagers. This is nuts. Can anyone fight this? Oh no. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! Micro, Teal! You got this! Oh yeah, you know, just need a little bit of micro. See? It's easy. Oh, that hurt to see, man. <laughs> oh my god, T90 wrecked. I really wonder what Revenge is going to be doing if he sees this. Now, Revenge could have a, an easier time killing those with Mangadai. Still, that's a lot of siege onagers. He could also use the Hussars. If Yellow wants to help Teal, he could use the Hussars right now. You know what he should do? He should get in close to Gray's units. And then he should turn on Gray. However, if Gray sees this, he could go for an attack ground. And in fact, I wouldn't trust Yellow at all. Oh god. So Gray's definitely controlling his units. He should see Yellow around here. And now Revenge has been turned on by Green. Now remember, when Kings die, there's radiation. It didn't really affect Gray's siege all that much. It's a very slow death. Uh, I think Teal's death is is imminent. You can see it happening. Uh, Yellow has bigger things to worry about. He won't attack Ray. He has to defend himself. Uh, has he turned on green? He has turned on green. His units are on stand ground, though. That's a lot of Chukunu. I think the Chukunu will be just fine here. They've already killed one of Revenge's castles. Well, man, this game has is, is heated up real quickly. Uh, oh my goodness! Did you see those shots? Overconfidence killed Laserhead. But Overconfidence has 7 villagers and 24 military. He doesn't have much of anything. Dude, he has 13,000 gold, though. I guess he's just a weaker player who can't... He can't keep up with the pace of the game. He can't keep up with the production he needs. My goodness, there's been some insane shots in this game, though. Now, this, this will be unfortunate for... Uh, well, hold on. No, Teal's king is in a transport ship. Oh my god, Teal? Teal has navy too. Teal should send his king into Gray's base and delete it. That would be so epic. Send his king into the base and delete it. I mean, maybe not now because his pop is decent. Now, do it for the memes. Sacrifice yourself for the YouTube video. Do it for the legend video. He's killing Grey from the shoreline. Grey's king is in this castle. If, if Teal sends his own king out and runs it towards this castle, it could be brilliant. I mean, unless he feels like he can snipe it without that. And that's a possibility. He could maybe stay alive. Grey must realize that the king's not there. I like how Orange still has that little, little fenced-in area. Green's still pushing Revenge. Revenge has 175 population. A green has 150 population. However, 50 more military pop. I think for now, Teal is just protecting his king on water. I'm going to remove the overlay now. Just a bit glitched out. Magar are CA or no joke, but they're also very expensive. I think that's the weakness for Laser Ed. He, he doesn't have the resources to keep making them. Uh, however, he could make a lot of Magar Hussar. They do not cost gold. So I have a couple big fights going on at the moment. Uh, Green is fighting yellow, and he's, he's winning. Green says, holy shit, that was close. You no, know, his king is weak. I, I bet you he ungarrisoned that by accident. And send it forward. Oh, Onager! Ouch. Maybe that's what Revenge needs more of. If Revenge had Skirms and Onagers, he would be just fine.
All right, so the game has been paused. I am hoping that the host of the game, who who was that? It was overconfidence, actually. I, I really hope that he did not die and close the game out, because if that's the case, the spectating will drop for us and we'll need to restore it. But this gives me an opportunity to say, uh, Bot09, thank you for the Prime sub. I saw you say in the chat that it's your first time here, and you thank me for the YouTube content. Glad you can make it, man. Uh, when you commented that, that's when everything started to go down, so it was tough for me. <laughs> uh, what's Gray's population looking like? 140, which actually puts him only 36 ahead of what Teal has. However, I believe he will add in some Navy soon. Hi, I'm new. Hey, Wham. Never seen you here before. Glad you could make it. <laughs> I always say that to people. Well, sometimes I say that to people who I know have been here before. Just to make them second guess. Like, wait, G90 doesn't know me? What in the world? Craves, thank you for 26 months. I hope everything's been well with the family, man. Saw you in the chat. Didn't see the resub. Thank you, Infinity Magnets, for the Prime sub. Mr. Magoo's friend. Aw. Mr. Magoo's friend. I didn't know he had a friend. Thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, Wham, I know you're not new. You were subbed for a few, like, four or five months, right? I got you, man. I'm just trolling you. Where will EP's King go? It'll go to the right after this. Whoop! There we go. So his King is alive for now, but he's lacking resources. So, just a small tip for overconfidence. You need to mass your military units first before you fight them. I, every time I look over here, you're sending in small groups. So I, I would probably group your units up behind the castle, wait till you get a bunch, and then- No! EP disconnected! EP disconnected from the game? What a heartbreaker, man. Ah, uh, well, that stinks. He dropped out. Teal says, what a shame. I was enjoying the destruction of everything he owns. Hmm. Well, to be honest, and I'm not just saying this because it, it makes the rest of the video better. I don't think, now it wasn't a rage quit, it definitely wasn't a rage quit. I don't think there's much Gray could have done against this. Funny enough, Teal was still trading with his dock too, so if Teal keeps that alive, that'll be good for him. But yeah, I, I think he would have had land army, but... I think after these resources go away, and they'd go away faster than you'd think, he would be just fine. It's Saracen Navy, too, so Saracen Navy would have beat Kelt Navy every time. But it still sucks for him. Hmm. Do Prime subs give T90 the same amount of dowry dues? Infinity Magnets, they do. They do. Yeah, it's beauty of, of Prime Subs, man, is it doesn't cost anything for the, the pe person who's subscribing. The content creator still gets the same amount. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Uh, Greg could have always deleted his King Near Shoreline and, and shook the game up, literally and figuratively. Uh, I was looking forward to seeing how things would go down between them, but it happens. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, 20-year-old game, people from all over the world, different internet connections, different reasons for it. In my experience, saving and trying to restore is more of a nightmare than anything. So I'm going to assume that EP's internet might have just dropped. He didn't show up in the chat or anything yet. So we would have just been waiting here. Uh, overconfidence is making elite Teutonic Knights and Skirmishers. And Halberdiers. You know, with the right combination of these units, it can work well. But they're all separated from each other at the moment. I, I think he needs the Halbs with the Teutonic Knights. Remember, he doesn't have much of an economy, so once his food and gold is gone, that's going to be it for him. But again, big 1v1 there, and then big 1v1 between green and yellow. Uh, just comparing the populations on that side, yellow is at 120, green is at 85, so yellow is actually rebounded from his earlier troubles. And purple is at 150, and it is just 96 for overconfidence. And then you have Teal, who is becoming kind of a dark horse, because he has control of the seas. He could deny Yellow's trade, he could deny everyone's trade, in all honesty. And he's trading with a dead guy, which would be perfect. No one can stop that. 
Uh, Prime subs do not auto renew. That's the thing. So if you can't make it to the stream once a month to renew it yourself with the click of a button, uh, it will not auto renew. Now, if you let's say you you sub this month and then you can't make it back for three months, when you come back, your streak will be at two months. So your streak would just pick up where you left off. But as far as consistent support goes, you would need to stop by. Ah, now Overconfidence will lose his dock, which some players were trading with. Hmm. By Jove, he's back. Now to watch the backlog of the last three days. <laughs> Pax, welcome back, man. Wham, thank you. Welcome back as well. See, I knew you weren't new. Thanks, man. Um... Yeah, I, I did not stream yesterday. I, d I didn't end up making the stream yesterday, but I did stream on Monday and I streamed on Sunday. Yeah, Gear, I knew it, man. I I think that people might assume, and, and rightly so, I guess, in some cases, that since I have so many viewers and so many subs that I don't know you guys, but for the most part, I can genuinely tell when someone's new. Even if you're not subbed, I could I have a general idea of how long you've been around. I appreciate you, man. Oh, Gray exploded. Oh. All right. You know what that was, probably? Someone who was allied with Gray could have done that. You can delete allies' buildings. So they could also delete Gray's dock. So that could have been that could have been any number of people. I don't think anyone killed that. Hmm. Yellow peace. Yellow says sure. Green said had to try something lol. And then Teal says, have you seen my great fleet? Um, I have seen your fleet. Okay, I'm getting a phone call right now. I need to take this real quick, just in case. All right, sorry, Lorena was calling me. I had to tell her to, to get out of here. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, I'm back. Yeah, Teal's navy is strong. His king is with this navy as well. But I just... Uh, how can he kill other people unless they're making a mistake and are on the shoreline, right? It's, it's kind of a weird one because there's no wood on this map. But Ar Orange is uh, still alive, barely. You know what Overconfidence needs to do is sacrifice his king. <gasps> Yo! Yo! Wait, no, don't put it in the tower. Delete it. Kill Yellow with it. Now, I don't know if the nuke would be enough to kill Yellow, but it would kill all of his buildings and units. He would lose probably 100 plus population. Uh, overconfidence. You're, you're too overconfident. You're, you have no chance of winning this game. But you can kill yellow. He's holding him as a hostage. That's, that's a funny idea. He could say, send me resources or delete my king. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge says, can you build another tower elsewhere? <laughs> can you build another tower somewhere else? Overconfidence is sure. No, don't do it. Build the next tower right next to his castle. Keru Tempest, welcome back for five months, man. <laughs> hmm. Wait, where'd the king go? Where's it going? King? No! This is just passing. Green can't shoot this. <laughs> you idiot! Why would you shoot that? Why would you do that? I mean, his king is still alive. But now he just lost all of his military. He says, wow. <laughs> the temptation was too strong. <laughs> the temptation was way too strong. 
<laughs> and now yellow just kills him. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is too good. And that that nuke hit Purple's castle. <gasps> and Purple's Purple's castle was sending units where? Here. I finally got a promotion into a job Where's it going? That actually uses my degree. Have a piece of my celebration, <gasps> Tinozo. Delete it. Delete it on yellow. T ninety woo, T ninety woo, T ninety woo. <gasps> Yo. Okay, so yellow has now reacted to this. Now I'm not sure what what triggered the uh, explosion of the previous nuke so quickly. It might have been the arrow fire from the castle. We can talk about that. Now I don't think this kills the king. It just kills the castle and all the units. It did kill it! Oh my god! What a game! What an ending! And Teal wins! The guy who has so little lands control. Oh my god! That was sick! That's exactly what I wanted to see with this. Beautiful! Oh, it all started with Green's Greed, and I can kind of understand it, right? You get into these games to get King Snipes, he saw an easy opportunity, and he thought, you know what, I'm going to kill Overconfidence. He kills him. Uh, now, I believe what happened was, see, when castles shoot arrows, there's a bunch of arrows right after the other. So I believe what happened was the first arrow killed the king, and then the arrows after that killed the decaying goat to set the nuke off immediately. And it just worked its way around in a circle then, right? And it ended up <clears throat> uh, his king died from yellow. Yellow Sea Jonagers. That explosion triggered this castle to go down. And I guess Laser Ed immediately and intentionally sent his king over to Yellow. Deleted that. And then once Yellow was out of the picture, uh, Teal won the game. That was that was amazing. I, I can't wait to rewatch that. I, I don't often rewatch my own cast. I don't often rewatch these games. But that would be a brilliant one to rewatch. Woo! Oh, well, uh, let me pull up the achievements for that game. I, I knew it was going to be good. It was a slow start. I didn't think it was going to be that good, though. 934 kills. Laser Ed played well, but he was picking on overconfidence a little bit with the KD. Um, seven, 73,000 food collected from Revenge. A 17,000 trade profit for him. Uh, he and Green had the most gold in the game. Teal was right behind him. Whew. Relic gold was interesting. A lot of players had relics, but players died at different times. Man, that was so good. So I hope as we continue to do this, I hope that players figure out strategies. I hope that when someone starts to struggle, they accept they're going to die and try and give us a big old explosion, right? That's not what overconfidence was thinking, but that's what we wanted him to think, and that's what ended up happening. <laughs> oh boy, so I guess this is going to YouTube. So if you saw this on YouTube and you'd like to stop by the Twitch stream in the future, my Twitch link is below in the video description. Uh, we do community games every Friday. Uh, it's not on Friday today because I won't be around this Friday, but for the most part, it's always on Friday. And of course, we are casting the expert games and, and classic games, all types of different things on the stream. I'd love to have you here. What was Green thinking? Green got excited. He got excited. He he wanted to get a king snipe. That's what he wanted. The whole time he's probably thinking, oh, my friends are going to watch this. Oh, I can't wait to tell them about it. His heart's probably, probably beating. And how many people in the chat right now who've played in community games had their heart beating like crazy throughout the games? There's a lot of people watching, right? So he's probably freaking out. And then the second he sees a king, he's like, oh, 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 I got to snipe it. I got to snipe it. And then he sniped it. And then he thought, whoops, <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, there's no chat here? Oh, there we go. Sorry. You'll have to say hi to YouTube again. My bad. You already know, says, bro, that's not what happens. Well, explain it. Explain it. Did you have him as enemy already? And then it just it just happened because of the castles? I guess that's the other scenario, but... Yeah, exactly, Quintus. I'm with you there, man. It doesn't matter who wins. It's just about making the game entertaining. 
I sent Trebs to help purple against orange, set him to enemy, and boom. Really? Oh my god, that's even better! So he was thinking about it. He sent Trebs to attack orange's base. He didn't know orange's king was running towards him. Wow, that is amazing. Now, I wonder if orange thought about that. I wonder if orange <clears throat> realized that green was about to attack him, so sent the king that direction. That's sweet. Orange King died instantly. Wait. Toasts don't toast Orange King toast. died and instantly toast exploded toast. because of the old Red King fallout. And then I killed Green's King with Onager. Wait a second. So you're saying that the radiation from the previous King kill is what killed the decaying goat of Orange's King? I, this probably doesn't make any sense if you just got here. That's an interesting theory. See, I need to rewatch it. Does anyone have a clip of it? I kind of need to rewatch it to investigate, because I'm not sure. So much happened at one time. Recast the game for YouTube. I'm not going to recast the game. <laughs> I had to go out with a bang. Um, Laser Ed, thank you for the five, man. You went out with a bang for sure. Jeez. That was a great way to finish it. It was just... Okay, so I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. Okay, so we need to investigate this. Sorry I don't have dark mode on Twitch. For some reason it, it turns off. Okay, so watch. Okay, so apparently at this moment... Can you guys see the whole thing? Yeah, apparently at this moment is when Green was sending Trebs forward. Probably right there if you look in the minimap. Turns on him. Oh, okay, so you know what? I think Revenge's theory is right. I think mine is wrong. So if you watch this, we'll, I'll replay it. I thought that the trailing arrow fire from the castle is what killed the goat, but there was a little bit more of a delay. So the king gets killed. It sits there. Then the radiation ticks with the demo, and it sets off. That's brilliant. It sets off the goat, thus killing green earlier. I'm just going to rewatch the whole thing. It, this played out perfectly. Then Yellow shows up, realizes what's going on. I think he spotted it with the, the Hussars. Green's having a what just happened moment. Onagers kill it. Boom. The radiation from Orange's King sets that off immediately. Wow, okay. And then Purple realizes, well, I'm going to go out with a bang. This is when Mr. 527 donated to me. I didn't get a chance to thank him yet. <laughs> but thank you while we're at it. And so this is pretty self-explanatory, right? He deletes his king. And once the king eventually explodes, it kills yellow, and then Teal wins. Wow, that was a crazy game. That was That felt so scripted, didn't it, guys? It felt so scripted, everything about it. And there's so many things that we could have reviewed there. I might even include this end portion on YouTube, just so people can get the explanation. Wow. Well, honestly, thank God that Yellow One died there. For my new sub badge. Woohoo. Because had Yellow not died there, he would have been on land. Not with much, but he would have been on land. And then T would have been on water. And I think the game could have gone on for a long time. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. If you missed the whole game, make sure to rewatch that one. It was great. And that will be on YouTube.